So are these really dates? Let's zoom in. Now, one hint I'm going to give you right away is that you're going to notice that some of these are lined up on the right side. They're right aligned and some of them are lined up on the left. Well, that is actually your hint. If you type something in, which it looks like a date to you, you know, maybe these look like dates to you. If they line up to the left, so these ones here, if they're left aligned, these are not dates. These are just text to Excel. So it's, you're like, oh, okay, you're typing that in. Okay, fine. I'll put it in as text. Thank you very much. If Excel sees it as a real date, what happens is it treats a date in Excel like it treats a number because it really is another number to it because um, you can calculate and do all kinds of things with dates uh, beyond just typing that stuff in there. So the dates, ones that are real dates, when you type it in, they line up to the right. So that is your first clue. Okay, let's look at another clue. Uh, so let's say you have any one of these dates uh, typed in. I'm just going to copy these and let's just paste them with, oh no, I didn't want to do it that way. Sorry guys. Uh, let's just paste them in there. This is going to ruin my blue, but that's okay. Um, so when I put this in this column, what I want to do in this column here is just show you if I wanted to format all of these as one kind of look. I don't mean, obviously I don't want to have a spreadsheet where my dates all look different like this. So let's take all these dates, highlight them, go to the number format area and tell it we want to have maybe that short date look where it's month, day, year. So once we click on that, we'll see Oh, okay, some of them formatted quite nicely. And then of course, some did not. So guess what? The ones that I, we talked about earlier, the ones that were left showing up on the left side are not formatting. The ones that are showing up on the right side are formatting because the ones that are real dates are formatting. The ones that are not real dates are not formatting. Um, so another thing about that happens with things that are, that are real dates versus not real dates is if it's a real date, I'm just gonna drag this date over here. We know it's a real date. When you um, copy that or fill that date down, what happens is it goes sequential and it goes sequential to the next day. So in other words, you know, we got August 23rd then it's the 24th. And then if we keep filling it down, we'll see it fills it down day by day. So that's what a date should do. When you fill it, it fills it to the next day. So if I test that out on this next one, same thing should happen. It's day by day. Okay, so you know what's going to happen with this one because you know this is a date because of the way it's aligned. So it's just going to fill down day by day. So we get to August 30th on all these ones. Then if I take this one, I know it's not a date. Let's put it in the not a date column. And when I fill it down, it's not going to be day by day, but it does do something interesting. It kind of still gives you a different number. But what it's doing is because it's a sequential fill, um, is it's just saying, okay, that's 2019. So the next one probably should be 2020, you know, it's the next number. So it's going sequential for you. So that's what's happening when you test it that way as well. Um, so I'm showing you all of this. Uh, oh, sorry, I moved something to the wrong column. I took, let's just undo that. So this one here, is it a date? Does it belong in the date column or does it belong in the not a date column? This is not a date because of the way it's lined up, but just to test it. When we fill it down, it will not move down um, day by day. It moves down what looks like year by year, which might, you might like. But just keep in mind, even if you wanted year by year, it's still never going to treat this as a date. It's seen it as a number. So if you wanted to, if you had something that wasn't the 23rd of August, you had other days in there, it would never put that in order. So it would never sort it properly for you. With a date, you can always get a sort happening. You can do calculations on a date. You can do much more with a real date than you can with something that's just typed in as text. So please enter your dates in as real real dates and you will be much better off. Don't just type it in. So it's August 23rd with the period. It looks pretty close to a real date, but it just excels like, no, I don't, I don't know what you're trying to tell me here. That's just text to it. Okay. And, and so by the way, I don't, I don't have every scenario of what something could be filled in as, but I should give you another scenario here just to, so you can see it. Uh, if I typed in August 23rd without a period and just typed in the first three characters, and then put the comma in there. Watch what happens when I hit enter. It changes it to a date right away. It doesn't even accept, I mean, it doesn't leave it in that format because there is no format like that, but it knows it's a date. So it, it gives it, it gives me the A-OK -okay symbol on, hey, that's a date, I'm good with that. 
it just doesn't like how I typed it in. It won't keep that format for me. So that's, that's fine. I'm good with that. If you're ever wondering what kind of format can I use when I'm entering a date? So keep in mind the right versus the left here. Um, but the other way to find out is look at your number format on the toolbar at the top here, go to that. And then it shows you short date and long date here. For some reason mine aren't showing properly. So I'm going to go to more number formats and go to date. And those are all the acceptable formats. So if you type your date in any of these acceptable formats, then you're good to go. Um, by the way, you want to be keep in mind the formats that I'm seeing, like month, day, year, or year, day, month, or whatever way you might be, you might be seeing a little bit different because this format is also being dictated by the country I'm in and what my computer clock says in it. Um, but uh, so if you go here to verify, that might be your best bet for what format works for you. So hope you enjoyed that technology tip. Keep Keep learning and keep growing with that technology. Talk to you next time. Thanks so much.